Hi, I'm Grant Bambury and I'm an art consultant and art writer from Christchurch and I'm here today at the Egantai Gallery in Timaru in their storeroom and I just want to talk a little bit about this painting here. It's called Landing a Kawai and it's painted in 1988 by a Christchurch based artist called Trevor Moffat. Trevor Moffat was born in 1936 in Southland from a pretty sort of ordinary family I think. And in the 1950s, he came up to Christchurch and studied at the University of Canterbury School of Fine Arts. He would have had people such as Bill Sutton um, to teach him. And he developed a very expressive mode of painting where if you look here, you can see the paint put on very generously and very simply. Probably the key thing to this artist in looking at the various um, subject matter is he's a narrative painter and Trevor was very interested in sort of folklore and the histories uh, surrounding uh, the development of New Zealand. Early in his career he did a series of paintings on gold miners. He's done a series of paintings on Stanley Graham, um, a person who was <coughs> known as a mess um, murderer who killed seven people in 1941. Fishing has always been a, a prominent uh, subject for Trevor and I know the Christchurch Art Gallery has a large work from this series that's, that shows three fishermen. And so his work is dealing with everyday things, ordinary life, and here we have this man on a boat, he's catching this fish, and we see some of the boat at the base and a very, very simple use of colour here. Creams and fawns, pale greys, the pale blue sea, and there is a real sense of the environment. Trevor didn't want to have too much information, so it's not as if the work gets too detailed. For example, we don't see any features on the face, and this was quite a common thread um, in Trevor's work. I think he's somebody that deserves a lot more attention than he has received. Uh, he died in 2006, uh, age 69, and I think he's an artist, particularly with his interest in the New Zealand uh, individual, um, needs you know, more attention given to him. Other series relate to his father, um, he was, his father was somebody that didn't really want him to go to university and uh, there are works in the Christchurch Art Gallery collection that also relate to that. Other series were called The Human Condition in which he was looking at um, female models and it was at a period when perhaps life drawing and working from the figure was, um, was very much paramount in the teaching going on in Canterbury during the 1950s. Um, another series is the Mackenzie series, uh, uh, again based on sort of folklore. He's painted in Rakaia, and as time went on, sometimes his work would become a little bit more abstract. It's a very um, warm painting to look at and generates a very nice feeling. And I think anybody that sees this work, no matter what age you are, if you just a young child is going to be able to relate to the subject matter. Thanks very much.